At first glance, you might think that Brad Jordan was the man behind this vehicle getting from point A to point B. Naturally, he's the driver. But without the rest of the guys, Mike, Jeffrey, Mac, and Josh, they just couldn't function effectively. They all work together. The rest of the crew uh, has to communicate with me if a vehicle is coming in so I can dodge it. We really work together. It's not like, it's not just me, the whole entire crew makes this vehicle run. And there's good reason to have four other sets of people looking out. Danger can come from anywhere at any time. We were uh, at a roadblock and uh, we were facing straight down a road and a car came barreling around the corner and he didn't stop. And he got to uh, about 50 meters in front of my vehicle before uh, my gunner was able to engage him and uh, destroy the vehicle. And that was pretty memorable. I was, I was really scared. For me, uh, I really couldn't do anything because I couldn't move. I had to make sure the vehicle <laughs> stayed in position so my gunner could get a good lock. Because if you move the vehicle, the gunner can't, can't engage a target. For me, I was just praying that my gunner and my air guards uh, are paying attention. Experiences like that are the bedrock of relationships. They build trust and confidence in one another under the most yeah. dire circumstances. I think just being here, being in all these tough situations, I mean, uh, if you can't express your feelings to one another and, you know, it's just, it's not gonna work. You're gonna get bent out of shape and get all stressed out. You gotta be able to communicate. So we're gonna go park the vehicle and then I'm gonna go eat. And then I'm gonna come down, take a shower and sleep. So we're gonna be up all night. Brad and the crew have spent thousands of hours rolling through the streets of Mosul. And even after hours, they tend to share a lot of their time. Yeah, off duty, we're always together. We're always uh, watching movies. Uh, we all work out together. Uh, we all eat together. Just, uh, we're, all, yeah, we're always together. You ever been to a cheese factory, dude? You know the Colby Jet cheese? The better memories I have is when I came back from leave. A lot of the guys were, you know, excited to see me, and that was—I uh, didn't think that was really going to happen. You know, it's like, oh, another guy's back from leave. That made me feel really good, like I was part of the team. <laughs> Time has brought them closer. It has also revealed great change in a country. I remember when we first got here, you wouldn't see hardly anybody out on the street. But now you can tell they're feeling a, a lot safer. Uh, we see kids and families in parks having picnics, and you never saw that when we first got here. Uh, kids playing out on the street. When somebody asks me, like, you know, do you think you guys made a difference over there? I'll always believe that we did. Because, I mean, if you're here, you can see it. You just got to walk outside the fob and open up your eyes. A difference he has played a very real part in. I'll always think that we are uh, doing the right thing being over here. Army Sergeant Lance Milstead, 366 MPAD, Mosul, Iraq.